Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're all well. Welcome to our next snippet, which is snippet number five. So we're working on our four by six inch piece of card as we've always done. And what I want you to do is mask off a little area here. So you've got a space here that we can stamp into. So I've placed my low tack tape. I've left a little gap there. Place my low tack tape, left a bigger gap, place my low tack tape. And what I'm going to do is take my Bulb Gazette. I adore this stamp. The Bulb Gazette stamp. And we're going to use that stamp. What I'm going to do is use a piece of card just to mask off that area at the top. So I don't touch that and the bit here. And I've just placed it at an angle just so it's a little bit easier for me to stamp and for you to see. What I'm going to do then is use my... Bulb Gazette with black ink. So I'm using the black ink. So just give that a good inking. And then I'm going to place some of the stamping in here. And I've just got that card there just in case I go over the edge of the low tack tape. So just allow that ink just to sit on there just to make sure that we get a good impression. So what I'm going to do then is move further down on the stamp and use a little bit of a different area on that stamp. What I'm trying to show you for this technique is just because a stamp is A7 doesn't mean it has to be used that way. You can just use parts of it and also to show the value of just even a little A7 stamp. So we've now placed we can remove our card and we've got that across there. What you have to remember is if you want to add any colour, you need to wipe your, let's place that down. You need to wipe your low tack tape because that black ink is not permanent on that low tack tape. So just give the low tack tape a little bit of a wipe so that you wipe that ink off there because you don't want that black ink on there. I mean, if you do, when you're blending, you'll just blend that black ink into your design, which I don't particularly want at this moment in time. What I'm going to do then is take some vintage photo distress oxide ink and just blend a little bit of color. And I'm just going to blend a little bit of color just around the edges and you can see there's still some black ink just on my low tack tape. It doesn't matter too much because it actually adds to the effect when you blend it because it just gives it a darker edge. So you can use your cut and dry foam, you can use your blending brushes, whatever you've got in your collection. So just blend that, okay? You're then going to remove your card and you can remove your low tack tape. Now, please remove that very carefully, just so that you don't get in a mess. And then you've got a beautiful, I've done one that I've got ready before as well, but you've got a beautiful little strip across your card. What I want you to do then is take a piece of your card, just your white card, and dip your ink pad into there and just add a few scratchy lines just to our design. So just add a few scratchy lines by dipping the card across the ink pad just to add to our design. I've got one I've done before as well. What I want us to do then is I want us to stamp our Wellingtons that we've got here. So we're stamping the Wellingtons in our black ink. So just take our black ink, our Nocturne Versafine Claire ink, and then you're going to stamp your Wellingtons. So just allow that ink to sit. Don't forget, you are not timed. 
So you can take a little bit longer if you wish. I'm just taking 15 minutes for a 15 minute snippet, but you're not timed. And if you want to do it in two sessions, you can, if you've only got a couple of minutes spare. So I've got the Wellingtons and what I want you to do is I want you to cut those Wellingtons out. I've coloured mine with Ecoline pens, sepia and sepia deep. And I've coloured them with that. What I'm going to do then is take a take my bulb stamp off the acrylic block. And we're just going to take a little bit of that ink. And we're going to add a little bit of stamping to our Wellington. Just from the bulb stamp. Just to bring those Wellingtons in to the design. Now on this one, this Wellington's going to be covered up a little bit, so I'm going to put a little bit of stamping just on the front of the Wellington. So just add a little bit of stamping because that will be hidden, which you'll see in a second. Right, what I want you to do then is I want you to take um, where's the packaging? Packaging. Where's the packaging? Never where I place it. I want you to take this stamp set. There it is. So this stamp set, because we're going to use this flower here, which is from my flower journey 904. And I want you to stamp that in black. So literally take your image and I want you to stamp several of them. So stamp several of those. So just add, so I'd say stamp three and maybe separate one so you've got a single stem. Just a mix of the flowers. So just stamp your image, which is just gorgeous and then I want you to colour those with Ecoline pens or pencils or whichever takes your fancy. I've used Ecoline Scarlet and Reddish Brown just to add a little bit of depth. So I've coloured those because the snippets are not about the colouring and then what I'm going to do, they've had a little bit of time to rest so I'm just going to add some little touches of white. The longer you can leave that to dry, the better, because then you can add those touches of white just to your flower, just to make that stand out a little bit more, just to give it a little bit more depth. So you can see how many I've cut out. Now let's say you haven't got the time to cut out the flowers. That's fine. Do your little background and do your flowers another day while you're watching the TV. It doesn't all have to be done in one go. So you can see I've got this band here. I've got the little lines here. I'd already got one prepared beforehand. And then what I'm going to do is place... No, I'm not. I'm going to keep it in my hand, my bulb stamp again. And what I'm going to do is just give that a little bit of a wipe. Now, you know normally I don't clean the stamps, but just for this occasion, I'm just giving it a little bit of a wipe. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a little bit of the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink, and I'm just going to add a little bit of ink to part of the stamp. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the stamping. Can you see? Come on camera focus. Just a little bit of the stamping there. And then what we're going to do is just adhere our pieces. So we'll now take our Wellingtons and we'll add our Wellingtons which I'm going to 
don't faff too much like me. So I'm going to add a little bit of the gel, the pin flare glue, which I've now got all over my fingers because I've picked that up. Let me just take that off my finger. There we go. So I won't press it down too much just so that I decide where they're going afterwards. So just adding a little bit of that pin flare and I don't want to press it down too much. I'm just going to, I have to faff a little bit because I want it in the right place and I'll explain why in a second. There we go. As you know, there's nothing like being pernickety, is there? So just so that you can see those Wellingtons on there, just adore them. I'm now going to add my beautiful flowers. Now there's pin flare glue down by the Wellingtons, so I don't need to adhere the stems because they'll just stick down in that pin flare. There we go. Then just add little bit more of that pin flare glue and then I can just press this down or I can just miss the that's it let's just move them to the side a little bit there we go building a lovely composition I've got one flower on its own I'm just going to stick down there, just so there. And then I've just got one flower just to add, just so it's... Now, obviously, you can faff as much as you want with your little snippet. I've then, do you remember from the Wellington boot? In the Wellington boot, there's this word plant here. So I've literally just cut, I can't pick it up, I've literally just cut this out. And I'm just going to add that little bit there. I'm just going to add a little bit of the Distress Oxide just to the edges, the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide just to the edges and then we'll just add that little bit of a plant just make see if you want it I don't want it inside the Wellingtons no now I can't grab out of it so just see you know just play around a little bit and see where you want mine's going to go there like so and then I'm going to add some white splatters, like so. And then there's your snippet finished. I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to do afterwards with my snippet is, I'm just going to add the little bird which I'll probably add to part of it. So I'm just going to add the little beard. But I don't want to take longer than my 15 minutes that we are allocated. So there's snippet number four. And don't forget, sorry, snippet number five. And don't forget to add your little numbers. So this is snippet number five. Love to all and see you all soon. Bye for now.